Sally Adonis. And I'm Rosemary Leus from, from Team MJ Real TV. So for today's episode, it is inspired by a fantastic question from one of our curious investors, Mr. Marvin. So he's asking, how do I start rental business with my condo investment? Marvin, you've come in the right place. Alam mo, Wine, it's one of the questions talaga na usually tinatanong sa akin ng mga clients ko. Uh, since karamihan ng mga clients natin is working abroad or based abroad, um, nagkahanap sila or nagpapurchase sila ng unit na pwede nilang matuloyan kapag umuwi, umuwi sila ng Pinas. But they are also curious kung paano nga ba sila kikita doon kapag hindi nila ginagamit. So kung paano nila gagawin income generating unit ito. Yes. So kaya ang tanong ngayon, how can we turn that condo investment into a thriving rental business? But of course, you have to have your unit condo first. Pero saan nga ba magandang magtayo ng rental business? Anong magandang location para dito? So before we discuss about rental business, let us show you the top 4 location ng SMDC projects around Moa, Makati, Mandaluyong, and Paranaque. For Moa, we have Shore and Ice. For Mandaluyong, we have Fame Residences and Light Residences. For Makati, we have Air, Red, and Lost Residences. And for Paranaque naman, we have Bloom Residences. So, I cover Crystal, anong favorite mong project and location ng SMB? So, for me, Wine, one of my favorite projects talaga is Bloom Residences. Since malapit lang to so, sa kung saan ako nakatira, which is Paranaque. And I know na malaki ang potential nito when it comes to rental business. Since 15 to 20 minutes away lang to from the airport via Skyway, and napapalibutan to ng mga malls, schools, hospitals, and other establishments. And it's very convenient and accessible, which is advantage kapag nagahanap ka ng mga tenants. So for more information on how you can purchase a unit sa mga top selling projects natin, you can message us some Facebook accounts namin. So now that we have a unit, syempre discuss naman natin ngayon kung paano tayo kikita sa ating rental business. So we have two options here. We have long-term rental business and daily rental business. So why ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng long-term rental and how it works? Long-term rental business focuses on sustainable growth and stability. Syempre, pag sinabi natin long-term, Ito yung pangmahaba ang upa na umaabot from 6 months to 1 year and up. If you want to have a stable monthly income, perfect ang long-term rental business for you. Yeah, exactly. So, magkano naman ba ang monthly income dito na pwede niya expect ng mga clients natin or mga future investors natin? So, like what we said earlier, price may vary to its location. So, for Makati and Moa, LTR business or long-term rental business, it starts from 30K to 40K. Kapag naman sa Mandaluyong, 25K to 30K. Kapag naman parang Niake, 20K to 30K. So for example, meron kang unit sa MOA at meron kang magre-renta ng 6 months. Ang unit mo can generate from 80K to 240K. That's good. So ano nga bang kagandahan sa long-term business? But whichever sa long-term business, meron kang stable income sa specific time na nasa contract nyo. Siyempre, you can navigate as well yung list agreements nyo at pwede ka makapili kung sino o ilan ang tenants na kukunin mo. Since long-term nga ito, hindi mo na kailangan masyadong pagandahin yung unit. You just have to make it looks like livable naman. Diba? Thank you, Rose Wine, for making our viewers understand ano nga ba ang long-term rental and how it works. Ngayon, punta naman tayo sa daily rental or short-term rental. So, if you are leaning towards a more dynamic approach naman, I think daily rentals might be the way to go. So, whether it's through platforms like Airbnb or other short-term rental avenues, we will guide you through the ins and outs of managing a successful daily rental business. So since sa long-term rentals, you don't have to do a full renovation ng unit. Paano naman sa short-term rentals or daily rentals? Actually, good question yan, why? So for short-term or daily rentals, 
we highly suggest that your unit is fully furnished. Since dito din magbe-base kung gaano kataas ang pwedeng rate mo or maging rate ng unit natin. And usually kasi kapag naghahanap ang isang tao ng unit for staycation or yung mga pagsastay nila at least um, a day up, uh, a night or three days, ganon. They really want na kompleto na ang mga gamit dito. May mapaglulutuan sila, may matutulugan sila, and it's comfortable. So, first off, we need to purchase a unit. Either pre-selling or ready for occupancy. So, but in this case, uh, we highly suggest na you invest in a ready for occupancy. So, for example, here at SMDC, after a month uh, na nag-preserve ng unit, para ma-process yung turnover nito, you need to at least pay for the 5% spot down payment so that in 3 to 6 months but at least ayun um uh, as soon as possible kapag nakompleto lahat ng details documents na needed ni SMDC from the client uh, as um or as soon as possible pwede nang malipatan na agad or maparentahan na agad yung unit. Pero first of all, pag another overnight unit, what is the next step? So, for example, na lang kumuha si client ng unit sa Red Residences, um, which is located at Makati City. Uh, like what I said, first month after reservation, need ni client mabayaran yung 5% down payment, which is for Red Residences for a one-bedroom uh, unit, roughly around 290k tayo dito. And after that, ang magiging monthly na lang ni client for 35 months is 20k. So, for example, um, after niya mag uh, bayad ng DP, in 3 to 6 months, processing na ng uh, unit para ma-turnover. So, as long as ma-provide niya yung mga documents and um, requirements needed ni SMDC, pwede nang uh, ma-turnover sa kanya yung unit. So, kapag ka na-turnover na yung unit, pwede na pa-furnish. Yes, that's right. So, after mo turn over yung unit, pwede nang i-process naman ngayon ni client yung furnishing ng unit na. Okay. Kasi sabi ko nga kanina, ang, uh, kung gano'ng kaganda ang pagka-furnish ng unit ni client, ganun din pwede magpag- Low pressure. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Pwede natin mapataasan yung rate ng uh, per night ng mga tenants niya. So, ayun nga, sabi ko kanina, kapag Airbnb to or yung short-term rentals, mas magandang fully furnished yung unit. Kasi ang hinahanap ng mga clients natin dito or ng target market natin dito is kompleto na. Wala nang mga kulang sa condo na pupuntahan nila o pagsustayan nila. So, after naman mga turnover and ma-furnish na ng unit, the next step is enroll your condo unit in leasing services. So, saan mo ba ma-recommend i-enroll ang unit ng isang Okay. Before that, uh, by the way, pwede sila yung mag-handle ng rentals dito. Pero sabi ko nga, karamihan ng mga clients na doon are busy din. Yes. Like, nasa ibang bansa sila, manihirapan lalo na kapag Airbnb. So, Airbnb, daily rentals yan. Kailangan hands-on ka. Mm -hmm. uh, marami tayong clients na working abroad. So, yes. hindi yan applicable for them. Uh, pwede kung meron silang representative. Mm -hmm. Pero yun, kapag wala silang representative at all and gusto nila less hassle na yung process ng rentals, so pwede nila nga enroll yung condo unit nila sa leasing services or property management ng SMDC. So, ayun guys, we have property management ng SMDC but also, meron din kami sa Team MJL Reality TV. Yes. And that's what I'm talking about. Dito sa Team MJL package na tayo from bank financing, after sales, and also the uh, furnishing, new interior design. Meron tayo dito. Yes. And lalo na dito sa leasing services. Yan yung pinaka-importante. Kailangan ng mga pagkakatiwalaan kapag pagdating sa uh, pagpaparenta na ng kami. So, uh, dito sa, uh, pero we have separate vlog for that kung paano nga ba i-enroll yung unit nyo sa yes. program namin. Uh, dito naman, kami yung mag-handle from in and out in the process ng pag-rent ng mga clients and pag-ahanap ng tenants as well. So, uh, that's the good thing about our team as well. Okay. So, Crystal, di ba, nag-buy yeah. na si client ng 290k for yes. down payment. Tama. And then after noon, monthly na ng 20K. Yes, exactly. So, paano mo sila kikita doon kung mayroon silang monthly na binabayaran? Ayan. So, that's the catch. Paano nga ba natin, uh, paano magiging income generating unit to kung may binabayaran tayong 20K monthly, which is the 15% equity ng condo. 
So, uh, ito naman guys, payable siya for 35 months. Ito yung before bank financing. So, paano nga ba tayo kikita? For example, here in Makati, meron akong client na uh, may unit siya at air residences. Pinaparentahan niya to ng at least 2-5 uh, daily or per night. And then, for example na lang, uh, be realistic tayo dito. 20 days lang na naparantahan. Meron tayong 31 days, 30 or 31 days. So, naparantahan ng 20 days lang. 2-5 natin, i-times natin into um, 20 days, meron tayong 50,000. So, ito wow. sinasabi ko, 20k monthly natin, masi-shoulder na ng income natin dito, yung 20k na babayaran natin kay Kasabi. So, may kita ka pang 30k? Yes, may 30,000. Uh, And dun mo na kukunin yung pang uh, maintenance ng yes. unit, uh, ng bills. Yes, yeah, bills. yung bills din, yung water. Since, pag Airbnb, sa, atin, sa client yun, mm-hmm. yung babayaran na, uh, babayaran na water and electricity yes. bills. Kasi compared mo sa long-term rentals, yung tenant na ang bahala doon, mm-hmm. right? Pero for uh, short-term naman, for daily rentals, na ipapasok nga sa Airbnb, tayo yung mag-handle nun, parang may excess ko pa doon. 50K uh, is malaki na ang kita. Mm-hmm. Right? Grabe, <laughs> diba? Saan ka doon yeah. makakakuha ng 50K monthly? Exactly. Diba? And then malaki na ang babayaran kay SNBC. Kasi yeah. ayun nga, sinabi ko, after 200 na... Uh, after mabayaran yung 290k na spot EP, meron tayong at least 3 to 6 months. Yes, nababayad tayo ng 20k. Para mababawi natin yan once na fully furnished na yung unit, napaparentahan na. Um, yung 20k na yon, ibabawas mo na lang yan sa monthly income. Yes, mabalis na lang babalik. Sa yes, exactly. Oh, grabe no. As you can see, yes. uh, grabe yung kitaan sa condo investment. Hindi lang siya for personal use. Yes. Ah, pwede mo siya maging personal use kagaya sabi ko, yung mga clients natin from abroad. abroad. May mapagsasayon sila once nang mag-away sila ng pinas. But at the same Sama. time, kapag hindi nila ginagamit, it can be income generating duty. So, ayun guys, those are the two options na pwede niyong pagpilian. It is the long-term rental business and short-term or daily rental business. So, syempre, depende pa rin sa'yo yun kung saan ka comfortable, comfortable sa schedule mo, at kung paano mo i-handle yung business na ito. So, ayun guys, we are here to guide you as well. So, ayun, uh, I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video na to and for more uh, information or kung meron pa kayong mga tanong and concerns, yes. you can contact us. Ilalagay namin dito yung number namin sa WhatsApp and Viber. Ilalagay namin dito yung Facebook page and Facebook account as well. Yes. So, if you have any questions or for inquiries, just message us for our contact details. So, once again, I'm Rosa Ilayus. I'm Cristalia Donis. And thank, thank you, you for, for watching. watching.